Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Reverend Ron from Wings of Faith Kingdom Ministry. I pray that you're doing well on today. I just going to stop by real quick to share something with y'all on today, and I hope it helps somebody out. Um, I'm just going to put this in your spirit today. Uh, uh, stop trying to take everybody with you. Stop trying to take everybody with you. Um, everybody is not built to go where God is calling you. Um, I, I see this often. I look on Facebook sometimes. It seems like people on social media, they want everybody to know everything that they're doing, when they're doing it, how they're doing. First and foremost, everybody is not happy for you. Everybody is not looking for your greater. So this is part of the reason why this should be a separation of of where you know you believe that God is taking you and the people that's going with you. Understand this: God is going to assign people to your life um, that's going to be there for you uh, in the area that that He's taking you to. Uh, let me give you a, give you some examples. First and foremost, when uh, the flood was coming and and He uh, wanted someone to build the ark. He called Noah to build the ark. He made provisions for a handful of people, his, his wife, his sons, and daughter-in-laws, for the ark. Okay, when he closed them up in the ark, didn't allow anybody else in there. Because it was just for Noah and his family. Understand that. When he called Abraham, uh, he said, Abraham, you leave the, the, the land of your fathers. Everybody did not go with Abraham to where God was calling him. When he told Jonah to go to Nineveh. Uh, to, to, to preach to them folks and everything. Everybody couldn't go with Jonah. In fact, Jonah by himself had to go. Of course, Jonah had some situations he had to go through in order to get to a point where he was going to finally do what thus saith the Lord. But here's the thing. God went to Jonah and sent Jonah. Everybody is not meant to go where God is calling you, so stop trying to drag people along, you know. Uh, uh, you have some envious people, you have some jealous people, some straight up haters around, you have some folks who are just going to be stumbling blocks. That's just the way it is. Um, let me take it a little bit further. Jesus Christ himself only had a select few that he took with him along the way. Um, yeah, he was always about uh, among, among the multitudes and around a bunch of people, a bunch of people around him and followed him. Uh, yeah, he had selected 12 disciples, and we know one of them ultimately betrayed him, but Jesus already knew that was going to happen. But his inner circle was only three, Peter, James, and John. It was three. Out of everybody that followed him, out of the 70 that he sent out, and out of the 12 that he had selected, um, only three of them was able to go with Jesus into select places. Let me give you an example. When the young lady uh, was dead and the father sent for Jesus and said, well, my daughter is dying, and Jesus got there, um, what Jesus did when he went into the house where the young lady was at that was supposed to be dead, that was dead, he said, only people that's allowed to go in there is Peter, James, and John, and the uh, father of the dead girl. Peter, James, and John, not the rest of the twelve. Uh, when, uh, when Jesus went on the mount, uh, when he got transfigured, it was only three people that was allowed to go with Jesus up on that mountain. That was Peter, James, and and John. Uh, then we go a little bit further to the scene of the Garden of Gethsemane, where he, the, the famous line come out, you know, uh, as far as him, uh, not my will, but your will be done. Who was there at the Garden with Jesus? Um, with Jesus, Peter, James, and John. Only three. Okay, so my question to you, beloved, is who's your three? Or do you have a whole crowd? Or do you need a whole crowd? I stop by to tell you right here, not everybody is meant to go where you're going. So stop trying to drag people along with you. This is Reverend Ron from Wings of Faith Kingdom Ministry. I pray that that is a blessing to you. I hope somebody really grabs that because you got some folks that stumbling box and, and anchoring you down, holding you down from where God is calling you. Um, if this is a blessing or any one of the other videos is a blessing to you, I pray that you might share it with other folks on Facebook. I pray that because yeah, I pray that you would uh, 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 subscribe to my channel on YouTube. It don't cost you nothing. It don't cost anybody nothing. It ain't about money. It's about putting the word out there, Jesus' word, to help other folks. Once again, this is Reverend Ron from Wings of Faith Kingdom Ministries. I pray this has been a blessing to you.